everyone, welcome to Crafty Friday. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to turn an empty old aluminum can into some spiffy, one-of-a-kind jewelry. I very, very rarely drink pop or soda, as some of you may call it, but there are people I know who drink it all the time, so I have them save cans for me when I know I want to make a project. Also, you guys may know about Arizona tea and peace tea. Those cans are really pretty and they're tea, so that's another alternative for you non-pop soda drinkers out there. And 4th of July is coming up. There should be a lot of cookouts and parties and get-togethers, so you can gather a lot of aluminum cans that way too. Alright, so let's just get into the video. Let me show you what to do. For this project, you'll need some aluminum cans. A pair of scissors, an X-Acto knife, and a sharp pointed object. You may also want some strong glue, a permanent marker, lots of jewelry findings and decorations such as rhinestones, perhaps some beads, chain, and jewelry making pliers, and some shaped hole punches. Start by taking a can and carefully puncturing a hole with either a blade or a pair of scissors. You'll want to cut off both the top and the bottom of the can. Once you have your can split into a couple sheets, you can start to cut out shapes with hole punches or use a permanent marker to draw on your own shape and then cut it out with a pair of scissors. This square punch in particular has rather sharp edges, so to solve this problem, I put duct tape trim around the shape. Once you poke your holes, then you can turn your aluminum pieces into charms. You can attach them together or to earring hooks or necklaces with some jump rings. For a ring, I'm going to use some E6000 glue and then attach that cutout to a ring base. They are super simple to make and turn out absolutely adorable. Now I'm going to add these pieces to a key ring. I already added a jump ring and some chain to each one and then I'm going to take this larger jump ring and place it through the top loop of each chain. Once I've done that, I'm going to add a key ring and then close the jump ring. I also made this bracelet by attaching a clasp to the end of some chain. I would properly model it for you, but this isn't the type of bracelet that I can put on my wrist by myself. Oh my gosh, get unstuck. Last week on Crafty Friday, I showed you guys how to make an adorable polymer clay rainbow cake. A lot of people sent pictures in, hashtag SoCraftastic on Instagram, and also on Twitter and Facebook as well. All of those links are right here if you want to uh, send in your pictures. They're actually not links, they're just my uh, information on that. And I'm moving, I always move my hand right here, blah, blah, blah. And as I always say, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already because I put out new videos every single Friday for Crafty Friday and I put some crafty videos throughout the week as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you guys have a great rest of the day. I will see you soon. Bye! In this episode, I'm going to... That's a dust. I saw a dust blowing in front of the lens. Got it. Pepsi Cola. There's someone drilling a hole in the wall or wherever or doing something with a power tool type thing and I don't like it. It didn't turn off. I bet you guys can't even hear it, but I can. There, it turned off. Okay, watch it turn back on.